Welcome back to the channel everybody and today we'll be working on, yes you've guessed it, the classic mini. There is still lots of rust to tackle, lots of welding to do. Uh, today we'll be working on the inner wings and I'm trying my best to get to the top of the bulkhead underneath the scuttle. There's loads of repair work to do along there. So stay with the video today. I hope you all enjoy it and let's get straight into it. I'm just making a template using masking tape, a bit like my good old friend, Ed China. This I can then lay onto the metal, cut out, and it will make a good repair patch. So it looks like I've made a boomerang out of metal. Um, I've got to give it a go, haven't I? Let's try it. Here it comes, coming back. Oh, brilliant! So the passenger side inner wing, let's have a quick run through. Rectangle to cut out and fabricate, weld in. That area there to clean up. Huge area there to repair, weld and uh, cut out all the rest of it. And a nice surprise once I move the closing panel, this huge section here is gonna have to be fabricated and welded in. Oh, and one last little piece just there, just in case you thought that was the last of it. So yeah, off we go. What are the chances of that? Well, yeah, please subscribe if you can to the channel. Um, you know, I do enjoy making these videos and I hope you enjoy watching them and the content. But um, let's carry on and get this side finished off. we go that's the inner skin in position uh, plug welds to be done um, and then seam weld all the way around here and just here and then it'll be a huge shape that can go all the way around this line which will be the outer skin Well, after all that hard work, the inner skin is complete. A big thank you to Mark Draper at Classic Mini Workshop and my friend Rob, because both of you came up with all the answers I needed. Um, after cutting away so much rust and so many layers, I wasn't sure what went where, but it's all done now. I've got the threaded bar behind it. The shock mount fits in place. I've checked that multiple times before welding. It's plug welded, it's seam welded. It's super strong. Whoa, there we go. Um, and now it's just time to make a template for the outer skin repair section. So here's a basic shape that was cut out with the tin snips. I'm just gonna put it into position, clamp it. And you can see it's gonna fit nicely, but it's gonna have to do quite a bit of work to get it in the exact position.
Panels all in position now. Zinc primers applied to both sides that face each other. Um, drilled out a load of holes to plug weld in. So yeah, it's time to get the weld on. I'm getting quite used to doing these repair sections and this is another one ticked off the list. The inner skin, the outer skin, all the plug welding, blended in. Uh, even managed to get this profile lip uh, to blend in nicely. It looks really good and it is super sturdy and strong. So the inner wing is looking good now. It's starting to get there. I've got one more repair up there. It doesn't look like it's going to be an easy one, but I'll get on with that very soon. So I'm going to make a template and get cracking with that. And then I'm gonna to have to tackle this mess, uh, which I'm not looking forward to, but getting there now, um, everyone. So we're really pushing forward now with these repairs and there's not that many left to do. So I'm getting quite excited to be honest. There we go, it's another repair section finished. Uh, I'm more than happy with this one. The welder was being really good, very consistent. So um, you can get great results when the welder's consistent, I have to admit. But I'm more than pleased with how it's turned out. I've now got to turn my attention to, again, this side I've sort of prepared. I've cut back to where the scuttle's gonna be just about, but um, there's still a little bit more to trim off. Um, I've got a small repair to do sort of in there and then the whole length of the bulkhead is pretty rotten so i'm not sure what to do with that whether or not to look for maybe a repair section or i've got to make one and fabricate certain areas where it goes lower than just the sort of return lip so let me know in the comments what the best option might be um but yeah that's the next part of the classic mini to tackle Yes, there's still more rust to cut out. The top of the bulkhead is next on the list, as I said, and um, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting that repaired. It's gonna be difficult, but I think we can do it. So I'll get that done, um, get the front end mocked up at some point, so I'll have to put the front subframe back on. Not sure where that is. Um, and then it'll be sort of, you know, trying to get the front end looking like a classic Mini and uh, trying to keep the gaps and all the rest of it as nice as possible. So stay with the channel. Please click that uh, like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll see you all on the next one.